How you guys doing again? This is Stan Bates from T-Shirt Sasser. Here today to present something to you guys that's in its very early infancy stages, and it is called Mockup Capital. Mockup Capital are digital files that you can use with your designs to make them look realistic and display them to your customers. If you haven't been showing your designs to your customers looking nice, or you've been taking photos you weren't really happy of, I created a solution for you if you have Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can head to the website, upload your file, and have me do it for you. So let's get to it. Okay, so once you make your purchase, this file will come to you via your email. Whatever files you purchase will come to you in your email. You simply download them and open up in Photoshop. And once you open up in Photoshop, they will come to this screen. And this is just a simply saying thank you because I support all you guys. Uh, or I thank all you guys rather for supporting the t-shirt side hustle and the mission that I have to help 1,000 people uh, start t-shirt businesses and by you guys making these purchases or you know support me or joining my patreon or any of that stuff and contributing to the mission you help me help more people make t-shirt businesses okay so we're going to jump right into it uh this page simply has some tips for you if you're working with like a black garment using all ones for hex code instead of using all zeros and just to help with the shadows and different things like that so we're just going to simply turn it off or you can delete it and we're going to hop right into our file. So if you look at this, it comes with the uh, mock-up capital logo already on the garment. And you can simply turn that off or you can just delete it. So I'm just going to delete it right here. All right. So now I'm going to first thing I need to do is bring in what I'm the artwork that I'm using. So I'm going to file and i'm going to place linked the reason i use place link or in, over embed is because if i go back if the file is linked to the one that i'm using if i make changes to that file the the new file will uh automatically update if i open this up it'll automatically update and i can just save it real quick uh, instead of having to go redo the whole process of placing a new image so we're going to place a linked image and i'm just going to navigate here i'm just going to pick up one of the t-shirt side hustle um designs and you want to make sure that you're working with the png format all right so i'm going to actually do two different ones for you guys to show you just give you an example of how this exactly works so i'm going to take this png file and i'm going to place it in here all right so now the first thing i got to do is resize it and put it where i want it to be all right so now simply put done i could technically take this with most of the mock-ups and leave it like it is it looks pretty good but there is something wrong with this file it doesn't exactly while it looks realistic and looks good it doesn't look like the hoodie that it's supposed to look like because if you see here the image line here of the strings and the zipper they they aren't lined up like it's just placed over top so it looks like it's not realistic so the, what i'm going to do is come over here and i'm going to drag and take this layer mask and this is the reason i works work with this file instead of any other one and show the tutorial because you can actually uh use layer masks and different things like that but if i show you this one you'll be able to use any of our mock-ups without any question so i'm going to take and drag this here this layer mask which is, says drag to your artwork i'm going to drag it okay and i drag it and look what happened that automatically came let me go back and forth it automatically pulled up the zipper line here and it automatically pulled up the um the strings okay so one things that i didn't do in this file sorry about that close that back out the one thing that's not happening in this file is you can the the layer mask is not locked okay and with that being said it's not locked so what ends up happening is you don't want to let me see if i can get this back in position here you don't want these files to be moved around on you okay so you don't want this to be moved around on you you want it to stay there so i can drag this and no matter where I place this, you know, it will leave the strings and stuff intact where they are supposed to be. So the reason that it's not locked is because if I do that, if I lock it, the strings and stuff move with my artwork. OK, by default, usually 
they come in locked already, but I just wanted to make that clear for you guys to see. Now, I got this mock-up all laid out. Looks great. Now, one of the things that I can do is simply select the uh, item color, double-click the color palette next to it, and I can drag around and pick the color of my garment by simply, you know, dragging around and watching the colors change from red to pink to purple to blue to green to yellow to red. Whatever color it is that you want to work with, you can go ahead and have that done. So I'm going to put the all ones, six ones back in here to make the garment black. Oh, no, let, actually, let's go to a gray. So one layer that is included in most files is the heather layer. And you simply click on the heather layer and it gives you the heather pattern. And then you can adjust the opacity of that to say how much heather you want to show a lot or you want to show it faintly or whatever the case there is. OK, so this pretty much shows you how to use the mock up file. OK, and one last thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to bring in a new image. Uh, I'm going to place and link image in here, but I'm just going to find me a one color design. Uh, let's see. What do I have? Maybe I can just go to the T-shirt side hustle logo. And make sure it is a that's not a one color. That's not a one color. Got to find a one color. OK, this is the one color file. I'm going to place this one. OK, I'm going to resize it. OK, I'm going to resize it in here. And the reason you want to work with PNGs, while this is a PNG, it has no border. When I'm working with the one color file, again, I'm going to turn it on active. It's black. OK, and I'm going to unlink this and I'm going to move my uh, strings up here. OK, and I'm going to adjust it, place it how I want to place it. OK, so if I wanted a black logo, this is perfectly fine to use. I just would change the color of my hoodie, right? Looks good. Whatever I want to do with it, just pick that color. Fine. But what if I wanted this white? I don't, do I need to go back to my graphic designer? Do I need to reopen my file up and uh, put a file in that's the color of the logo that I want? No, I don't. What I can do is add a color overlay. So I'm going to take my artwork. I'm going to click on the layer of my artwork. I'm going to double click on the side here. And I am going to simply select. Where is it at? Color overlay. Color overlay. OK. And right now it's overlaid in red, so it disappeared. But I'm going to cover overlaid in white. I can cover all it in gray. I can pick any color on this palette and overlay it with that color. And now I don't need to do anything extra in order to uh, change the color of my, my design. But if I did that, I'm going to show you guys if I did it with the other file, it's a two color. OK, so I just click OK. I click OK. And now I have a new mock up. I can simply save it as a PNG, open it up, file, save as save it to whatever folder, change it to a PNG. And now I have a PNG mockup that I can take into my other files and make some marketing materials or just simply drop a background in here and uh, just start displaying it the way I want it to be seen, right? Uh, and that's one of the keys to using mockups, just displaying things the way you want it to be seen. Now, on the other side of that, if I were to do that with this file, which is a PNG file, yes, but it has this white border around my uh, niches, what happens if you do an overlay is you color overlay it and the whole thing, because it's just looking at what is there in a PNG file, there's no border around the square that would be here normally in a JPEG. So it's looking at what is there and it doesn't see that there's a white layer or a, a green layer or a color layer in a, a, a white layer. It just sees there's something there. I'm overlaying that whole thing with color and I cannot apply this in the same way. OK, so in a future video, I will do how to do a two color overlay with two different colors so that you can make a bunch of mock ups fast and not have to keep saving and resaving out your original artwork to do so. So this has been a tutorial on mock up capital uh, and just stay tuned for some closing remarks.
All right, so I just showed you how to create a mock-up using mock-ups from Mock-Up Capital. Um, and I want to just give you guys some information on it. Uh, and it's in its very early infancy stages. There will be more mock-ups, better mock-ups. I want to go super fast with it. I want to dial it down and do some basic uh, t-shirts and different things like that as well. So just stay tuned and work with me. Now, the funny thing about this is I had this idea back in 2014 and I created these files and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Uh, I was actually back then was going to call it Mockup Capital or Mockup Central uh, where there's some of the names that came about, but I never went through with it because I didn't have anywhere to market it. This is long before a t-shirt side hustle was even thought about. So uh, this just goes to say, you know, Work on your ideas, and you may not use it now. You may walk away from it, but you can always come back to it later. Uh, now, in the future, two things that I'll be offering right away, one of which was be, I already mentioned was basically I can make your mock-ups for you. Uh, I don't suggest you get a Photoshop uh, subscription for mock-ups if you have a clothing line with one or two or three designs. If you're not like going to be making a bunch of them, uh, or you're not already designing a half Photoshop, or you're using a different program, I don't suggest that you get Photoshop, so I, it'll be an option for you to upload your image and get your mock-up created for you. And the more you do it once, the, the, maybe it'll be some type of discount applied to it. I'm working on building that in. And the second thing is, if you take photos uh, of your real, list, your real garments, and have, if you don't know how to take the, uh, the background out, I will be doing some teaching on that. But if you need me to take the background out of it or something like that, that'll be another option on there as well. Um, oh, the third thing will be revectoring of artwork. So I'm going to be building a few things into mock-up capital that I think everybody could use and utilize uh, as a service uh, and they help you out with what you have. Like if you work with a graphic designer, you can't no longer get in contact with, but you need a PNG file. You don't have one um, and you need your artwork recreated, whatever the case may be. These are things that I'm going to be building into mock-up capital uh, to really service you guys and get some things done. So uh, that's just kind of like the roadmap. I'm really going to be working on creating some uh, fashionable mock-ups and, you know, some more basic mock-ups. But right now, this is what I have to start with. Uh, if everything goes well and I get good feedback from you guys in the comments here uh, or email and, and some requests and different things like that, I will start to work more on that. Uh, this is probably like the uh, fourth level project on a list of things that I am working on right now, but I will be getting back to creating mock-ups for you guys because I think this is something that's super, super useful uh, and they're very, very cheap. You know, everything under 10 bucks, usually uh, $5 if it's a front, $7 if it's a front and back. Uh, and I will be throwing out coupon codes uh, on either Patreon. If you're a Patreon supporter, depending on your level, you'll get a coupon code. Uh, for holidays, I'll be giving out coupon codes. So different times like that. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Comment, questions, uh, requests, all of that good stuff. Comment below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't because I'm going to continue to bring you content, uh, especially starting 2019. I got some big, big plans. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at T-Shirt Side Hustle. That's where I'm in contact with guys, you guys on a, a consistent basis, making posts and, and, and comments and questions about answering everything and, and just bringing good content there. So this has been Stan Bates from T-Shirt Side. So I hope you guys, you guys, you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.